Why is a bunny called a bunny? A man gave names to all the animals In the beginning In the beginning Man? You mean... A man gave names to all the animals In the beginning Long time ago You mean Adam, the first man? He saw an animal that liked to hug Long fuzzy ears that like to fly Put the creature down on one knee uh, I think I'll call it a bunny Just like that? I think I'll call it a bunny? I mean, you could just as well have called it a T-Rex? Well, it munches just like a bunny Yes, it does! Its little nose scrunches just like a bunny's. But yeah, let's call it a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it's all relative? And there's no telling who that it's naming. Could you please put the guitar down just for a For the times they are a Just for a couple of minutes. You want me to put down this guitar? Just for a couple of minutes. All right, Rabbi, all right. Because you want to know if a bunny is really a bunny. Exactly. Well, Rabbi, I ain't no fan of Kripke and Rigid designators. I myself subscribe to the Saussurian theory of semantics, according to which, well, you go ahead and say bunny. Bunny? Say it again. Bunny. Say it ten more times. Bunny, 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 bunny. Bunny, 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 bunny. You see, after a while, the word just doesn't mean anything anymore. It's just a sound, a phonetic entanglement of consonants and vowels tangled up in... You know, you do have a point, seriously. I mean, bunny, the English word bunny, is just... A linguistic convention. If you were Finnish, you'd say poo canny. If you were Chinese, you'd say tootsie. That's all true, of course. Yes, yes. But in Hebrew, in the holy tongue, in the tongue of the creator of the universe himself, the language that God used to create the very first bunny, the actual bunny, that divine word is not just a matter of linguistic convention. You mean the Hebrew word Arnevit somehow contains the secret of bunny rabbits? And if you go chasing the rabbit... Hey. I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, so, so, so when man gave names to all the animals in the beginning, when the good Lord brought all the animals to Adam and Eden, he saw the, the what? The, the essence, the inner truth, the innermost meaning and semantic constitution of the animal. Like DNA? Like DNA, but deeper than DNA. The DNA of a rabbit is its genetic secret, which is spelled out in molecules, cytosine, guanine, thiamine, adenine. On a level that is deeper than molecules, the metaphysical secret of the rabbit is spelled Aleph, Resh, Nun, Bet, Arnevit. Mm, so Adam saw the first rabbit like the angels saw it? Actually, even more deeply than the angels, the minds of angels, which are purely spiritual minds, are able to grasp the abstract essence of a rabbit. Abstract essence! Isn't that like the secret of the wabbit? The purely abstract essence is its abstract secret, yes. But the deepest secret of a rabbit is actually contained in its body, in the physical existence of an actual rabbit. And the angels don't come in contact with the actual rabbits. It's a bit Kabbalistic, but Kabbalah groovy. I love Kabbalah. In order for the purely abstract essence of a rabbit to become an actual rabbit, that abstraction has to undergo many condensations, as it condensations. were. Condensations, yeah. So the spiritual secret of the rabbit eventually becomes dance in a creature to which man then gives a name. Because the human intellect has the special capacity to recognize the spiritual secret 
in the dense material form of an actual rabbit, something that the ethereal intellects of the angels are unable to do. But God can do? God can. Well, yes, God can. You know, being omnipotent, omniscient. Let's not forget that God did create the rabbit. So there must be some incredible raw energy beyond the angelic dimension, beyond the essence of bunnyhood. Indeed. In Kabbalah, it's known as... Tohu. Tohu, as in Tohu Vavohu, the primordial energy? Tohu is an intense expression of godliness. Like a song so beautiful keeps you under its spell. Like a song sung by God himself. A song so beautiful that the angels can't even teach it to others. All they can do is listen to God sing. Oh man, oh man, and yet man can handle this beautiful tohu song? Pretty weird and groovy, right? Oh man! Man can handle not just the deep spiritual secrets of creation, but the very song of the creator himself. Oh! Oh, brother! The song that God sings with his divine voice, his divine soul. Sing it, brother, sing it! Thanks to an absolutely unique divine dispensation. Dispensation? Like a commandment, a mitzvah? The mitzvot are such a divine dispensation. Like Adam's unique ability to recognize how God is expressed in creatures, the mitzvot are a special ability given to us by God to express God in embodied physical physical action. Oh yes indeed, gonna have to serve somebody. In our serving God, God becomes revealed. You're gonna have to serve somebody. 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 It may be the devil. Well, it may be the law, but you're gonna have to serve somebody.